Who are we shooting at? Looks a lot like Celine Dijon. Oh, okay. Hello, dukes and duchesses and swingers of the male persuasion. Today we have a fascinating round to shoot from England. These balls are about 70 caliber or about 17 millimeters in diameter. Each one weighs about 29 to 30 grams or just a little more than an ounce. These come from the post medieval period, which dates between 1600 and 1800. Hello, my name's Simon. I live in Staffordshire, England. Um, and one of my hobbies, well, can you guess what it is? It's metal detecting. And we find quite a lot of these. The musket balls. They're varying in age really from the ones that look like modern lead colour to the white ones. Uh, the white ones are probably more like 400 years old. And the leady coloured ones, 100 years old. These are pistol balls. They're the smallest ones I've got. Um, these are what well, I think are musket balls. And I've put the small one by it. That's one of the pistol balls, just to give you a comparison. And these are huge. These are something they call grape shot. They've been fired out of a cannon in a wire basket. And I'd love to see Jeff fire, well, just some of the musket balls. Uh, and these are the ones that Jeff's got here. And that little blob on the top of the one on the left is where it's never been fired and it's not been trimmed off after it's been made. Uh, so I can't wait to see Jeff fire them. Cheers. Instead of loading these into a musket, we're going to load them into a 12 gauge shotgun because they fit perfectly into a 12 gauge shell. At the very bottom I've put a little bit of silly putty that'll help support the ball and prevent it from deforming when it's fired. The muzzle velocity on a musket using black powder was about a thousand feet per second. With these shells we'll be sending these down range at about 1200 feet per second. Thank you very much Simon for letting us try these out. I hope you enjoy the video. Welcome back Tau Flater folks. Jeff and Officer Greg out here today shooting with you again. Hey, today we're bringing you some uh, musket balls that were sent to us by Simon in the UK. These things are estimated to be made around the 16 or 1700s. These things could be three or 400 years old. And what's weird to think is that whoever made these things designed for muskets that far back never knew that here in 2017, we'd be firing them through a modern shotgun. So we've got a, uh, a Ming Dynasty vase from about 2,000 years ago that we're going to shoot <laughs> and uh, as well as some other fun stuff so uh, let's get to it. Okay, sh shot one at the ancient urn. <laughs> Whenever you're ready. Some color to that water. Actually, I think that vase came from the early 80s dynasty. If anyone can translate what it says on there, you get a bonus point. The shot was a little bit high and to the right. Um, didn't hit dead center, so we didn't get a good hydrostatic shock reaction. So far, the accuracy isn't looking too good for these musket balls, and they do have a reputation for not being very accurate. Now, at that distance, even I could have hit that vase. So I know that Greg's accuracy is good, and it's possible that the ball was a little bit deformed or you know it's 400 years old or whatever uh, so let's keep on shooting and see if we can get some better shots fire governor Ready? yep wow. dang it I asked Simon if he had any requests of what to shoot at, and he said he wanted to see the clay block getting smacked. So there you go. We normally use the clay block just for real light projectiles. Heavier projectiles just blow it into pieces. So I hope you enjoyed that. And there it is. We captured it. You can see that that thing uh, flattened itself out. Looks like a lozenge. You can see the fiber marks. And Kevlar fibers. You yeah, guys, you it guys, almost looks like a rock, you know? Yeah, you guys can't feel this, but it's still warm from being shot right through Clay's brain and into the uh, into the vest. Pretty cool for 400 years old. <laughs> yeah, at least we saved it, you know? Gosh. <laughs> How will they fare against the solid lead plate? 
Whenever you're ready. Oh, oh boy. Something went zipping back. Yep. This was a very accurate shot. It landed right on the black mark. Looks like the ball hasn't been deformed from being shot, so my silly putty actually worked. And as it hit, it splattered out, started tumbling at a high rate of speed, and that's the noise you heard as it uh, ricocheted. But everything was safe. No cameras were hit, luckily, no cars. So everything's good. So I made a nice little uh, perfectly round, perfectly smooth, not very deep impression in our lead plate. And I don't know if you guys could hear it on the video, but that thing went buzzsawing back over our heads somewhere, so. Yeah, that's why we, we put it at a little angle, so. That... You can see just a little little bit of that Sharpie box that I had down there at the bottom, so uh, that was pretty accurate. That hit just about right on point of, point of aim. Very nice. Okay, ballistic gelatin. Ballistic jelly. Ready? I'm ready. Whoa. Huh. I set the Kronos high-speed camera to 17,000 frames a second and we could see the musket ball going through about 12 inches of gel just without much hesitation. Ended up hitting the Kevlar vest behind it. For whatever reason, we could not find most of these balls after we shot them. That was our intent, was to capture as many as we could. We only found one from the entire shoot. Okay, we're going to smoke the pot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, whenever you're ready. My guys are going up. Yeah. While some guys shoot empty terracotta pots, if you put some water in there, you get a really nice reaction. It just breaks it up into little tiny pieces. So far, all our shots have been relatively close. So let's move the target back to about 50 yards, maybe 45 yards, and see how accurate these old musket balls really are. Okay, whenever you're ready. Something hit him. Well, our TFM crime scene investigation shows a high clavicle hit up here. Kaboom! Zapped him right through in the shoulder. Oh. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry, Monica. Um, not wearing a vest on this one. Probably would have hit him above the vest anyway. Yeah. And then, cool, look back here. This, we got a little exit wound. Right through him. That's why he didn't move very much. It was just a clean through and through. Ouch. Getting sick. That's pretty good for... Going 1600s on his ass. Look at that. Not, not bad. I mean, it went a little high for whatever, you know, but... So you think he looks like Monica? I think he looks like Celine Dion with this. Okay. <laughs> Needs a little <laughs> wax job there, That's but... That's right. <laughs> While these musket balls were not the most accurate round we've ever fired out of a shotgun, it kind of gives you an idea that they were still quite a threat at 50, maybe to 100 yards. Now, it may have bothered you a little bit to see us shoot these old relics. It, kind of bothered me too but if I had not shot these after Simon requests me to I'd be at real heel and apparently these things are pretty common and they don't have much value because there's no serial number on them and it's really difficult to place them historically I want to thank Laura Platt for letting me use her awesome music and Mikasin Nibra oh I know I messed it up and I'm sorry but he did some English to French subtitles for a video of mine, and I want to thank him for that. That was awful nice of you. And thank you for watching the video. If you get a chance, please rate the video. Good or bad, doesn't matter. I appreciate it anyway. Thanks again.